Well, hello again, Cherokee fans. Today, I have the we have the Toyota Mark II Grand from 1985. It's called, I guess, it's the X70 platform. And I think in Wikipedia said this is the sixth generation one, but I could be mistaken. I couldn't find any with this two-tone paint job, though, other than this. But that's not quite like this. This is like a greenish one. That's clearly tan or something, or gold or even. So yeah, luckily this one actually says 1985 Limited. I assume that means Mark II or Grand II or something. But more importantly, it's actually molded on the bottom here. So this is from 1985. This is an old toy. So it's plastic, but it's all painted. Uh, this metallic greenish color. And then this middle section is like a cream or white color. Uh, so a little staining going on there. I don't know if there's a door handle printed there or not. This is uh, clear. It's got some molding for the window. We have some funky markers. Oh, I actually do see these little bumps on the fender of the real car. So that becomes part of this hood. But sadly, the sticker of the engine is gone. So, you know, someone must, some kid must have actually played with this thing. And there's a chip mark or stain there. The turn signals are not painted, but these inner fog light things are. Silver there as well. The grill is okay. Uh, they've got some wiper blades and a rear view mirror printed on. I don't think I've ever seen a rear view mirror printed. Strange motor choice though, it's yellow and orange. Really weird they would have those colors. Standard, standard Cherokee wheels and tires. Uh, we got some red for the tail lights, and that's it. So I don't really like the standard Cherokee wheels. So I'm going to do a little wheel swap. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, as usual. Oh, no. I actually got that out the first time. Very often this thing is wider than the actual opening. Alright, so the canopy is a separate piece. In the hood you can see the details there. So we're going to take this out. I'm going to save these for a different one. And uh, I have a, a motor where I clipped off the axles. This one's gray, so it's a little bit better. Won't be as uh, silly to look at through that windscreen. Then I need my good old screwdriver by hand. I'm gonna put this back so I don't strip out the hole. Find the thread, and there we go. Okay. So these are actually green light wheels. I bought a multi-pack of those green light wheels. They're just some stamped steel wheels. And I just can't find myself to put them on a realistic looking car. Because the chrome is like chipped off there. It's not good enough for me. But it's definitely good enough for a cartoon car. Yeah, I think these are much better than those Cherokee wheels. What do you guys think? Yeah, I'm liking it. So this one has the green light tires, and this one has, I swapped them out to the Choroki rear tires, because uh, they're giant here, right? So, let's get some camber. That looks pretty good. That's all inset, right? I'm cool with that. So, look at a few other Toyotas here. Here's a Celsius, but really, I, look, I know it is a Lexus LS430. I 3D printed my own wheels for it. Here's another one. It's uh, I know it's the Lexus SC, but I think this is called the Soarer. Yeah, it says Soarer on the bottom. <clears throat> Here's a really old school one, and it's a Toyota Crown. A really old one, probably from the 50s or something. Doesn't say what year, though. It looks like a 50s car. Really big, too. This is the most similar looking one I have. This is also a Soarer 2000 GT. This is a Cherokee Zero, so it has more effort going on. It's a more modern uh, casting. This is a Toyota Crown Taxi. Nicely done. Actually, the wheels on this are more suitable for that thing, but oh well. I'm going to leave them where they belong. And another Zero, this is a Toyota Crown Athlete. Which again, looks very much like a Lexus. Uh, I mean, the same company, right? So yeah, very retro. 
I mean, that toy literally is decades old, so it makes sense. It's, it's an old toy of an old car. And you can just see the advancements with the Zero, like how much more detail and molded detail there is in color detail. But still, I like this. It's cool. Put it on this gas station thing here. Got my cartoon character. We got a little Princess Mononoke ghost thing. So, alright. Well, I'm glad I was able to finally use some green light wheels. I reviewed those green light wheels like months ago and I've never actually used them up until today. So, I'll probably put more green light wheels on Choro Cues. Alright, until then, I'll see ya. Bye now.